So welcome back to the filmariot.net YouTube channel. Now normally I cover a lot of entertainment stuff on this channel but today I'm going to branch out a little bit because my friend Polly is here. Hello. Who is the, I was going to say the militant vegan. You're no, not I'm quite not, militant. I'm not militant no. You just look like a militant <laughs> vegan. Don't I though as well with the, <laughs> the hoodie yeah, that I've got on today. <laughs> Next, we're going to start um, something for, for vegans because there's a lot of vegans that have just become vegans, like yep. myself. I've only been a vegan for a year. And Veganuary had the biggest take up this year. Didn't yeah. I? I can't remember what the figures were. Perhaps you can look that up online and have a little I will. figure come up because I yeah. know what you're like with your edges. A little info bubble. But no, you helped me become a vegan because I've been a veggie since I was a kid. You yep, have as same well. Here. Yep. And you went vegan, what, a few years ago? Um, it was a year and a half ago. Year and a half ago, and yeah. you helped me with my transition, my vegan transition. Yay! Okay, so both of us live in London. We're quite aware that London has a lot of options for vegans, but unfortunately, London, or fortunately, London's a very, very big place. Yeah. And to be honest, it takes about an hour to get anywhere. It's like you live down the road from me, but it's taking you an hour to get here. Yeah. Um, and we know that each area has its own good things about it for vegans not so great things about it for vegans so we're going to look at different areas across London look at what the options are if you are a vegan eating out and if you're a vegan who wants to cook at home are you stuck with the local supermarkets and things and what can you do there and also if you want to go out for a few drinks and a little bit of grub with your mates what's out there for you and also Hope it's going to take us somewhere. out of the centre of London we know there's stuff in the centre of London and people know what's about there but I think going around the boroughs and having a look in the little areas where people don't normally go and yeah, I think this could be quite fun and we need to walk everywhere because yeah. otherwise we're going to be putting on lots of weight. Get, get the steps in. <laughs> well, I'm up for that because I need to shift a bit of weight myself, old lardy ass. Yeah. But maybe if there's a, a place where you are um, that you know, you know, they do vegan restaurants or cafes or even support groups, if they've got, you know, vegan support groups that help you through the the veganism if you've mm. just started and maybe if you are a new vegan let us know in the comments below because i live in Bermondsey, you live in lewisham well just Lewisham's outside lewisham Cap. yeah yep. uh, so we are in lady well at the moment um we're going to pop into catford now um we're going to pop into a pub that i know has vegan cakes that are a pub what a well, surprise <laughs> <laughs> um, well a bar little nan's bar we're going to pop in there because i know they have some vegan cakes i had their red velvet yesterday Ooh. at their bar in deptford and it was stunning yeah see red velvet because i always think of cochineal but obviously they don't no. use cochineal because that's um no. beetles blood yeah. isn't it cochineal yeah, yeah. crushed up beetles yeah not um, nice so we're going to go and have a bit of cake and maybe find out what vegan beers they have because I know they've got red stripe but that's not vegan. Let's go. I'd like to introduce you to Claire and Lorraine. Hi there. Claire is the manager of the bar. Lorraine works here on a Sunday and we're going to sample some of their vegan cake. Who's that? First, little swig. This is Red velvet vegan cake. Look at that. We're gonna have to do a lot of walking today. <laughs> it's done by Cat's Cakes. These are amazing cakes. This is such good cake. And I'm gonna tuck in. Mm. It's really moist. Here we go. Yeah. See, I'm, I'm in a bit of a position here where I'm trying to avoid eating stuff just like this. <laughs> Not saying I don't like it, because I love it, that's my problem. But I can't resist it, so here we go. Tuck in. The, co the colour's amazing, isn't it? It's real beet, I, I, I mm. guess they use beetroot. I think it's beetroot. Mm. You would not know it's vegan, would you? That is amazing. That is so good. I know. He says with a mouthful, my mum will kill me. <laughs> So 
So we are full of cake and beer. Really full of cake. <laughs> Why is it? Whenever we go anywhere, we always end up having a pint or two. We only had one, one each. We only had one each. We were good. Yeah, we were very good. I felt a bit weird after that one pint, though. Oh, please. Can't take me anyway. Two can Dan, that's me. Getting old. <laughs> but yes, we went to Little Nance and saw my friends there. They were lovely. Yeah, well, I wouldn't have anybody being friends with me who isn't lovely. No, that's true. You Present know. company accepted and all that. Cat's cakes, more red velvet, and it was lush. It was a massive portion. Massive portion, you will see from the video. I mean, I kind of hyperventilating now, <laughs> hunched yeah. over. We've done a lot of walking around the park, <laughs> trying to find somewhere that is a different venue to where we were before, and I can see a tree growing out of my head at the moment. <laughs> uh, okay. There we um, go. <laughs> so, we've not done the vegan healthy exploring today. No, we've no. Done the Piggy. Just well, that was my lunch. I didn't have. I had breakfast, but mm. I, I had a big cake and beer fruit. for lunch. That's great. I had a big bowl of fruit with some um, Alpro soya um, vanilla yogurt this morning. Look at you, which was yummy, um, and a bagel with jam. Um. <laughs> a lot more healthier than me, though. Still, beer and, and cake. And then we had beer and cake. For yeah. Lunch. What an amazing place because it's all Art Deco and it's it's kind of like um, a little. Bizarre, isn't it? It's like a. They they had a vintage market on today, yeah. which was lovely. Oh, as is well. that not normally there? No, they're okay. doing that. I think it's every Sunday, or I, I, I'll have a look. If you're in Catford or Deptford, I think they even do them in the ones in Peckham and Dalston as well. Maybe just the Deptford and Catford ones. I'll look that up. Yeah. Pop in there, have a cocktail in a teapot and get yourself some vegan cake. And it's not normally I say this, but I love their busts. <laughs> <I'm> their bu <laughs> and <laughs> it's gay, did you know that? <laughs> no, they had Sharon's pills too. One of the yeah. beers was Sharon from EastEnders. <laughs> I thought that was fantastic. Um, yeah, there's definitely an EastEnders theme to it, but yeah. uh, it's a lovely bar and it's really nice to be able to go somewhere on a Sunday afternoon and actually get something that we can eat. Which is what this whole thing's going to be yeah. about. It's like being able to just pop out somewhere and knowing you can eat somewhere. And you feel welcome because they give you a nice welcome. Obviously they knew you, yeah. so they gave you one. Well, <laughs> And I've got to tell you about my toilet incident. Oh, no, yeah. it, it, there's nothing <laughs> suspect. I went down to the loo and uh, an elderly gentleman came to the door and held the door open for me and said as I walked through, no, after you, young man, which I quite young liked. Man. That's another reason to go back. If the clientele are like that, yeah. then yes, I'll be yes. there. But no, it was it was really <laughs> yummy and yes, it's the start of our adventures, but we've also come up with the concept now. Yes, we have, and we are gonna be exploring. So the next video will take us who knows? We, we where have that no will idea. Be. There's going to be a pin. There's going to be a map. We're going to drop the pin in the map, and we we're are. going to go there and see what you've got. Yeah. Or maybe you can actually suggest a place for us to come and visit and see if there's any vegan food or vegan cafes or vegan support groups near you or where you live. Yes. And our fail safe. If we can't find anywhere, there's always usually a greasy spoon that usually has chips and beans. Yeah. If we end up eating chips and beans, you know it's been a fail. <laughs> so thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back soon with another vegan video. In the meantime, subscribe and tell everybody, like us, share us. Subscribe there. Send there, us everywhere. There. <laughs> more cake, more beer? <laughs> no more cake, beer. It's really moist. <laughs> moist. <laughs>